Hello and welcome to the next episode, episode 6 I presume, of Thimbleweed Park. And as always, I'm thankful that you uh, chose to watch my video. I, it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Okay, so in the last uh, video we um, we went into, we managed to get away from the main town of Thimbleweed and went into the hotel run by uh, Chuck. Well, now deceased Chuck, so where we found out more of uh, his brother Franklin's death well, before he died and well yeah it looks like it's haunted and uh, I am now here to well I like and before the end of the video I had a little word with with uh, Ransom the clown and yeah he's a jerk but I don't like him not as much as I don't like this creepy clown and the whole light flicking, uh, flicking on and off and it's really giving this Oh god, it's so creepy. Uh, and apparently, I can't get in without a uh, a warrant. Warrant. It says no feds without a warrant. Oh, I wonder why he's hiding. I wonder how you actually get in. So you can't really do much here. So that's where I am right now in the old circus. Uh, is there actually nothing I can? I need do? to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, so I can, I can be Ransom the Clown, and oh my God, is it turned into the worst? Oh my God, he clearly hasn't. His, his maid has clearly been fired. Okay, get okay, everyone. Okay, well, he's definitely got that done. To do to uh, feel little beeper, fucker. Get package at post office. Try removing makeup again. Collection. Collect 53 more specks of dust. Oh, okay. I hate my life and go. If you found this note and I'll read. Oh, I'm. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Ugh, he really needs to clean this shit up. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Ugh. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. Yeah, definitely. Try some. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. Oh my god. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? What a f of a f still doesn't work. <laughs> Well, at least I tried. Right, then that. Uh, feed little who? Okay. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. Please don't. Oh, God. <laughs> little Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. Oh, He's uh, probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. Why would you, why would you keep him in a microwave? <laughs> that's gross. That's, that's, that doesn't sound really good. Little Beeper is lactose intolerant. If I give him cheese, then the whole trailer smells like farts. Huh? How does it? Okay, I'll just take that for facts. Uh, I miss my housekeeper. Did they choose not to clean? Okay. okay. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. Trampoline. So. I need to be higher to jump on it. Okay, so can I? That's too far to jump from here. Oh, okay, so I can do it. Okay. That's too far to jump from here. Okay. That's too far oh, to jump from here. Okay, can't go that high then. Oh god, it's like a ghost town. Jesus. Oh, he just swears when we go. Okay. Uh. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. Okay, I'll pick these I up. won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Oh, okay. Oh god, it's so... 
That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Oh. 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 Oh, got it. So weird. Hey. Stop picking up all these specs. Oh, okay. Oh, so creepy. So. Oh god. Hey, look at that. It's my empty ransom the cloud <laughs> swear jar. So proud. It stays empty now because no one's here but me and Lil Beeper. So he's, he's calling it Beeper without, you know, saying the F word, okay. It's a box with a f crank on it! <laughs> it's a box with a fucking crank on it! It's my tube of Kozlerik's patented anti-itch medicine. It works wonders! Alright. Ugh. That's quite oh no, okay. So much for better. I wonder if I had to bleep that out, uh, if I had to uh, blur that out, because that was not charge friendly. <laughs> Why? That's gross. Uh, okay. Oh, the snake. That's handy. There's nothing inside but a couple of pennies. Okay, nothing right. Oh, okay. So I can't really do anything yet, but apart from pick up stuff. Beep, beep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a rare first edition of my fantastic comic book. Always time to do laundry later. Of course. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. Who'd want to steal it? That's a good point. What's that? It's a page from my joke book. It's a page from my. It's a, pa it's a page from my joke book. Come back here. Hey! Stop! And it goes. So damn broken window. It's a page from my oh, joke yeah. book. Okay, I get it. Oh, forget this. Yep. It's my old trampoline. Brings back memories. My old trampoline. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Oh. There we go. Okay. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can count. Oh, no. Am I really gonna pick up all this crap yes hey get back here it's for a little beeper uh, hey where you going rats having more fun at this than I am not even half full yet this suck almost half full oh there's more so you half full now this is taking too long. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I'm done. 
This is gonna take forever. Hey, get back here, you bitch. That's not gonna be enough for a little beeper. He can eat that much crap in two seconds. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. I'm letting it age. Seriously, forty nine. Okay. Find missing joke book page. Okay, so I've got another one to do. That sucks. Looks, looks like a rattle. Looks like a Gotta be a better way. Wow, 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 wow. That's a... a lock of it's a full bag of popcorn! That's why I need... Okay, so that's why I need... I knew I had to do something with the, mar with the mar uh, rats going into that hole, but, you know, I didn't know that the cheese was the solution. Obviously, that one is the solution, so, you know. Okay, let's see if you would like some uh, popcorn. Here you go, little beeper. little beeper. Enjoy your crap. Man, if I had a rat, I'll call it a little beeper. Oh, it looks so happy. Oh, he's enjoying it with his red demonic eyes. Alright, what else do I need to do? Uh, get package at post. What package? Do I even have a package? No. Okay, what do I do now? Okay, so I need to... Ah, oh, I still have three things to get. Uh, package, missing joke book, page, 49, specs or dust. Now where do I... Okay. Are you enjoying it? Oh, 
it. I'm actually trying to, you know, go out the entrance way. Ow! Oh. Well, I'm just very, very dumb. I did not know that I needed to go out. I, oh, I could actually go out. I, I did not know that. Alright. Get lost, Ransom. Doesn't Agent Reyes ever get on your nerves? No one else should have been assigned to this case. Yeah? What gives? I don't trust him any more than I do you. Look at his face. You can trust his face. I'll do what I can to help you find the killer. But only because I know you pin it on me just out of spite. Just making my quota of squashing scumbags. I've said it once, I'll say it again. F you, Red! <laughs> Chuck. Hey, that rhymes. I didn't do four years of clown college for nothing. About four years. Ah, I'm bored now. <laughs> I need to stay focused oh. and solve this murder. So okay. No, 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 no. Look at me go. I like the wind. I got toilet paper. Ugh. Okay, so I found out that you can actually uh, look, use a toilet paper and actually apply it to the uh, dead body. So <laughs> that would have I did not know, and you can use it for the uh, blood uh, bloodtron. So that was helpful. Uh, That worked. I have a blood sample. I did not know that. And also, that's also a photo, so that's count as two. So I need to get them both. To uh, Main Street. We've got a killer to catch. Got a killer to catch. Okay, um, give this. To Happy to help. And I want to be as I want. I want like him. I, like, I prefer him more than you. To be honest with you. Okay, so I have samples of blood that I can give to you. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The blood it's too soggy to put it in the blood tron. What do you mean it's too soggy? There's a fish tron. I just realized that this could have fingerprints on the bear. This is the identity report I've been waiting for. This is the identity oh, okay. report I've been waiting for. Face trauma report, uh, job 536582. Uh, German passport. Uh, suspicious. Uh, okay, I have no idea why. I already knew what his name was. I'll just take a little hog to keep me going. No, I don't want to. I'll just take a little hog to keep me going. The label says Pillow Bear. The toy that can be turned into a pillow. I'll just take a little hog to keep me going. It's too soggy to put it in the blood tron. 
What do you mean it's too soggy? Okay, so I have no idea that it would be still be. I thought it'd be still. I thought it'd be dry. Uh, um, I guess I'm gonna have to get the wallet, so I could use this guy here. Old circus. And that's where I am. Where did it want to be? Oh, hello there. Whatever, Red. 48, okay. So, I could actually ask them to give me all of their... Oh. What the f Dust! Uh, Oh, what? I have specs for oh, the. Okay, let's just look around. Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? Uh you, tabloid hack! Why the f are you so interested in my story? I think it would make a great human interest piece. Hmm. People love stories about washed up former celebrities. Not to mention it gives you a chance to get back in the limelight. Okay, let's do the f interview. You won't regret this. I would doubt it. So, Ransom, a few years ago, you seemed to be at the top of your game with a successful career. Then out of nowhere, you publicly crashed and burned, your former life suddenly a flaming wreckage. Tell our readers in your own words why your career hit the skids. Maybe people got tired of the insults? I mean, my act is kind of a one-trick pony. Insult humor probably went out of style. Sure. A question I would love for you to answer is, why don't you take off your makeup? Are you just a committed performer, or a performer who needs to be committed? <laughs> Yes, either one's great. Honestly, I can't take the f stuff off. It's not so much as a choice as it is a horrible f curse. Thanks to Madame Marina, you can take a belt sander to my face and the skin would grow back with the makeup intact. Huh. Not the answer I was expecting. Let's talk about happier times now. Tell <laughs> me about one of the highlights of your career. My Tonight Show appearance. I stuck it to Carson Good. Stole that show. Fame is all I ever cared about, sweet cheeks. Okay. <laughs> I heard rumors around town that you were planning to get a line of ransom dolls made. What happened there? Ooh. <laughs> You're the one I care about. Hey, oh. In your new joke. That Chuck happened. The arrogant thought my dolls were beneath him. The man had no vision. He was still clinging to his dead pillow dream. Bad-mouthing Chuck Edmund is certainly one way to get yourself attention, Ransom. Seems you have little to keep you here in Thimbleweed. Why did you stay? This freak show town is a gold mine of inspiration for my act. It's the perfect place to hone my craft. Let's face it, I'm definitely not here for the hot babes. Yeah, charming. <laughs> so, Ransom, any big regrets? If you could go back, would you do things differently? Only trusting the wrong people. I did nothing wrong. It was all the fault of the morons I let into my life. Oh. My ex-wife, my manager, Franklin, Chuck. My life would have been perfect without those jackweeds. Glad to hear you're not bitter about it. Hmm. Finally, Ransom. Do you have any big plans for the future? 
Oh no, that's yeah. I'm not doing that one. <laughs> I'm gonna get it all back. You can't keep a comedic genius like me down forever. I'll get the funding for my dolls somehow, and then I'm out of this backwater hick town. I think I speak for everyone in town when I say, good luck with that. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. I'll let you know when the finished piece goes to print. Sure, whatever. That was lovely. Has to say, guy. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. Damn you, it. George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? <laughs> Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you not go postal working at this hole? Hey! We don't use that sort of terminology around here. What are you gonna do about it? Shoot me? <laughs> Job-related stress is no laughing matter for us high-level government agents. High-level of... You think mailmen are high-level government agents? Definitely. <laughs> I'd say this job is the most prestigious government position of them all. Of you do realize you're basically a <laughs> pizza delivery man. <laughs> Except worse, because you never bring any Pizza. <laughs> well, that just shows what you know. Got any more of those awful jokes? Oh, I got some doozies for you. Did you hear the one about the unstamped letter? No, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> it was. I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the f mail. <laughs> That's very disrespectful to the United States government mail handling officials, Ransom. <laughs> Get bent. He's so serious. Uh, Lay another bad joke on me, face. Okay, you'll love this one. Why can't you mail a boomerang? Because, <laughs> because it always returns to the sender. <laughs> There's something wrong with you, George. <laughs> Just so blatant. God, postal nerd. See you, ransom. Postal nerd. Uh. Actually, this well, is... No way am I going in there. She is a crazy, a vengeful witch. I will not actually go no there. way am I going in there. She is a crazy, a vengeful witch. Oh, I guess so. You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. <laughs> so I guess we both look like. Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line because it's too easy. But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like... I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. <laughs> You're one to talk. Huh? <laughs> You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor to got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an You like got it. any gluten-free donuts? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. Oh, I so see. I guess we both... Uh... You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? I, I I don't talk about that. Well, I hated the too. Really? Yeah, that American snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life.
We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milquetoast little shit of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls, because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck for bailing on me! Ooh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> so it was going down, uh, the play factory was going down the hill. So maybe it would be a good time to have some change. Uh, uh, can I just give loose? This is too valuable just to give away for no reason. Thimbleweed Park guided tours. No way. This is a ransom the clown collectible. You got any gluten-free do- No one's getting their hands on my joke book again! No way am I going in there! She is a crazy a vengeful witch! Okay. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. <laughs> of course. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown! No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. B-pole. <laughs> Tell it to someone that cares. Just order your food and get lost. Everybody hates him. Uh, I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... Before they move into you. I hope you choke on it. Nom, 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 nom. This tastes like crap, and I ought to know. I, uh, gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, no, okay, that was even more disgusting. <sighs> I feel better now. Oh, that did not look good. And I just watched, uh, now, now three people throw up in this game, and that was probably the worst. Worst one. <laughs> Oh, that was all that looks horrible. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? More like Ricky's up tubes, mm. but whatever. <sighs> Can't you ever be nice, Ransom? Hey, it's Rick with the stick. I don't have a stick. These are tubes. Sure you do. It's lodged so far up your ass, I can see it poking out your mouth when you talk! Ah. Uh, nice. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can- Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. <laughs> yeah, she did. But... So you finally realized you can't bake for No, business was just slow, and I went in a new direction. The town bum wouldn't eat your Leftovers, doll face. The only thing your pies were good for were throwing at my audience. <laughs> I think I left my hamster in the microwave. Gotta run! Let no, let's I did. <laughs> Some face to face my sign! Let's go to the junkie. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Dude, can you score me some more of that clown blend? I don't think so, kid. I need to be responsible for the death of your last two working brain cells. How does it feel to know this is your peak? Dude, quit harshing my buzz. You sound like my mom. Nah, your mom sounds like this. Oh, yeah. Ransom. Ransom. Oh, yeah. Ransom. 
Uh. Wanna hear a joke? Yeah, him, what do your mom and my clown car have in common? Dude, no. Okay, I feel bad. Me and him. 20 other clowns. Dude, stop. Okay, I really feel bad. I mean, oh, I... Nah, I think I left my hamster in the microwave. Gotta run. I didn't know what to say. I was like, that was so awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was horrible. Their box is waiting to be shipped or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Postal nerd, see you, ransom. I got a package. Why am I not getting it? Their, their box is waiting to be shipped or picked up, but not by anyone in this game. Their box is waiting to be shipped. It's a postal scale. It's a sticky tape dispenser. It says, for government use only, violators will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Uh, that tape is for official government business only. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Why are mailmen so great, then? The whole world would fall into chaos without me and my boys in blue. The feds wouldn't get their intel, people wouldn't get their paychecks or bills. The economy would fall into chaos. People would starve. I hold people's lives in my hands every day. <laughs> Mailmen are the god Hermes incarnate. Ransom. Huh? Don't you see? You're f nuts, George. <laughs> Give me another crappy joke, letter dork. This one is my favorite. I don't know if I can get through it without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the post office clerk get called into the manager's office? No, because, because because they filled out section 4E appendix B of form 2265 instead of section 4B appendix E of form 2625. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke, you glorified letter jockey. <laughs> Seriously, George, get some help. Want some more postal humor, delivery dweeb? What's the best thing about being a postman? Uh, serving your country. <laughs> Wrong. The answer is nothing, because your job is dog. Count to ten, Georgie. Go to your happy place. <laughs> I got another joke, Parcel Porker. What do your wife and the average post office customer have in common? Ransom, you are treading on wafer thin ice, bucko. You've never satisfied either one of them. Oh, jeez. Ransom, I suggest you leave for a while, hmm? I would hate for you to become another statistic. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Whatever, postal nerd. Okay, that was a bit weird. Okay, let me just... I need to stay focused and solve this murder. Um, I'm going to visit the radio station now. Ooh, this is like hard cool. Ah. The feds are watching us. Oh, well. Make <laughs> no mistake about it. The only way to protect yourself is to fight back. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Hello. What a big lever. Yeah. I remember that poster. Yeah. You gave me nightmares. Look at that. It's locked and bolted from the inside. Nice. nice. Oh. Okay. It says Phone Tron 3000. 
for when you need to handle hundreds of phone calls. Use the ladder. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Hmm. One of Reyes. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. Oh, so both are afraid of heights. That's nice. Uh, fair enough, I'll just go have to talk to uh, Dolores. I can use this now. All gassed up. Yeah, I can go back to that place now. Better ring the doorbell. Hello? Oh. How can I help you? She's Federal here. agent. <laughs> what do you know about the body by the river? I'm sorry. This isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Oh, so... Oh, wait, I can do... Okay. Uh... This is... Actually, let's see what's happening with Dolores. Any, any snacks? Oh, I still pick it up. Long can. Alright, let's go talk to our sister. Where the hell Not have you been, Dolores? Like... We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. <laughs> Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Oh, I don't like this woman. So it looks like I need a cool. Pick up the pack of dust. Wait, who's this? Talk to Chucky. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Leave Chucky alone. Ooh. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Peter doesn't want to talk to you. Nice. Uh. I did that. Okay. Oh, I gotta talk to her. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores. If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? 
I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Oh, nice person. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck, so it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky Chuck is Jr. thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. You got a real deadpan look. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. Oh, nice. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. A game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. <laughs> then what do you tell people I do instead? We just tell people you went to rehab. Oh, Jesus. It's better for the family name. Yes, clearly. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. Oh, for the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh! You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But Oof. this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Uh. Oh, I, I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Alright, uh, knife. Oh, that was... Useful. Oh, let's do these again. <laughs> Just so weird. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. This? Looks like an old receipt. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Hmm, isn't gonna go there. It's Uncle Chuck's check oh, register. No, Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. The hell? I think that never hmm. Happened. Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why. Oh, hello. There's something written on it. There's something written on it. Walk to fingerprint reader. Oh, of course. It's a key. Hmm. It says office on it. Huh. Okay. Okay, I have no idea where to go. Um. Oh, wait, who's this old man? Digging! You're, you're digging inside, sir. Are you okay? Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. 
Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! You need help, sir. Do you want me to call someone? Who are you? Diggin! Of course. It's a red gel decoder. I know what you get what that's for. Uh. The Printron 3000 was Uncle Chuck's final invention before he died. It's connected to my computer. Oh, fucking hell, why, he, why was he there? Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook around. Okay. It's a stub from a check that Uncle Chuck wrote. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney, Brant Balowick. Payment in full for will and reading. Oh, okay, so I have a payment for that guy. It's a strange device with a red button. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. Guys, still digging. Okay, so I think I'll leave it up here now. It's been some time. I've been playing this game for I've been playing it for quite a while now. Um, yeah, so I'll just leave it right here. Uh, so fine. Uh, at the moment, I mean, I feel like I'm picking up the pace in the in the game, and I am really enjoying it. I like the humor. I like the little puzzles, and I like the I like I like the characters. They are. You know, they're very uh, interesting characters with very unique personalities. And I like how the, uh, where the story is going. And in the next episode, I should be following, uh, and I should be going, uh, looking into more of the Dolores. Because in this episode, I, I followed uh, Ransom. And hopefully I should be going down into the sewer, because I actually, you know, got the chainsaw... I got, I, got, I got gas for the chainsaw, so I should be able to go into the sewer now and probably get some more like alligator, uh, find some alligators and probably that mushrooms that the um, old witch was uh, uh, saying that she needed to smoke a mean take. Same thing. Anyway, if that's what you want to see, and uh, like, and like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.